Hey everybody, Scott here. I'm just headed into Interspace Water Sports. I'm going to be spending some time with Chad to put the uh, timber slug kit on the gosh gosh. Look who's lurking here. <laughs> everybody loves snow check day. Eh? Let's bust this bad boy out of this crate. Anybody home? Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> Knowing you're there, if I start to fall, you could pull. <laughs> Look at him go, folks, what a jam. Throw it down. That little ass ass is so nimble. Shady looking dude. Wow. Oh. Oh, Very nice. Under the tire. That's a big piece, you didn't want anything on the ice. Even if you help the bars on the bike a little Fighting it, fighting it, and fighting it. Push down on the fender. Travel, but at the same time, it's also to say you don't smash your seals into the bottom, right? which is really long. Two changes from the ski thing. Six feet is almost done. Too, too many guys are going to carry two feet. Okay, and that's basically it. It's time for the finishing touches. Chad, how much air did you put in that uh, back there? Well, this is a Trio S and it's the new style Trio. So it does have slightly a little uh, nicer valving than the predecessor model to it. So just for now, um, because we are early season, we want to keep things a little bit uh, plush. So is what we've done is we roughly put uh, 13 PSI in the, in the main chamber there and about 20 PSI in the evil chamber, which is kind of the end of the stroke for anti-bottoming. 
Okay. Set the forks at roughly a stock pressure stock setting, and then same with the TSS, we used uh, Polaris's recommended 260 PSI, and we're gonna start on the medium setting on the switch, uh, which will still give you some articulation once we're off the stand here. And I suggested to Scott, maybe try the skid at two and two, which would balance the chassis front to back, kind of like a typical, how you'd set up a motocross bike, so. And one more thing, look at this cool thing. You might have to put one of these in. So yeah, we thought we'd start playing with some new ideas that a lot of us, you know, the tunnel looks really swanky, beautiful when it's brand new, but it doesn't take much to scuff them uh, or scratch. So we thought we'd try some high density ultra deck material here, locally made in Vernon. They can put logos, patterns, designs, uh, all sorts of stuff in it. So we thought it'd take out a little bit of the harmonic ting and vibration. And uh, this way your fuel can and luggage racks and everything else to help give it some squish and some and some traction on there as well. So I thought it would be a nice new accessory. Perfect. Well, you can see we have a lot more work to do on this bike to build it up, to get the handlebars heated. Uh, well, there's a whole bunch of stuff. You guys know. We'll, uh, we'll be back. Well, that is how you put a timber sled track kit on a bike in an hour and a half. That was awesome. And the level of knowledge that Chad has, like he's, he's probably put together more snow bikes than probably anybody else in the world. Um, he maintains quite a fleet himself. And just the little details that he showed me that I would have never even thought of, uh, unless I'd done it a hundred times before. So really pleased to have had that opportunity. And now we're gonna get the bike into the truck and uh, so you can get all the other sparkles put on it because it's winter. Let's go. Oh, dainty. Look at you. You're so sexy. So sexy and tiny. <laughs> I know, it's silly.